Hello everyone. I'm back. I'm back in Taiwan and as you can probably tell it's been a while since I shaved last but I still wanted to make this video. What I'm going to talk to you about today is going to be a bit harsh. I'm going to say some bad words. I mean I won't literally say bad words but I'll say bad things so it'll be as if I said bad words. You'll be equally as shocked. The thing I want to talk to you about today is what I think is the only reason for which you have not attained success yet. That was worded weirdly. But let's say you define success as being a successful freelance translator and let's say you've been at it for a while and you haven't attained success. I'm going to give you the one reason why this has been happening. The three P's. Perfectionism, paralysis and procrastination. Perfectionism is what happens when you don't think you're ready yet. I'm not prepared enough. Okay, I'll just uh, read, you know, these books or I'll just gain this much experience or I'll just learn about this much or watch this many new videos and then I'll know exactly what to do and how to get started as a freelance translator. That's perfectionism and that's a huge enemy. You do not want to be a perfectionist. Zig Ziglar, he has a quote that I like a lot. Anything worth doing is worth doing poorly. If it's worth doing, you should do it. There is no amount of preparation that you can do that will ensure that you will have a smooth ride. You won't have a smooth ride. You're going to make mistakes. Things are going to go wrong. You're going to have to change it up. And the only way to know what to do and how to change it up is to start doing it. You need to get out there and be a translator in public for real clients in order to see what you're made of and how to go about it. Paralysis is where you haven't gone ahead and done something and you haven't done it for a while and you find suddenly time passing without you taking the next step. Perfectionism many times leads to paralysis. Anytime you have to do something your own, on your own, which is like freelance translation, you don't have a boss breathing down your neck, so you're gonna have to figure it out on your own. Paralysis can really set in during these times. If you find yourself after a while not having done the stuff you were supposed to do, the stuff that you set out to do, the stuff that you told yourself would have been done by then, chances are paralysis has set in at some point. That brings me to the third P, which is procrastination. Perfectionism and paralysis are basically forms of procrastination. Procrastination comes in many, many different forms. Well, when I was in school, it was always, you know, anytime during exam time or when I was supposed to be studying or working on any papers or reports, that's when I had the cleanest room ever. And I would end up cleaning, I would end up scrubbing, I would end up putting away this and that, reordering all my books, whatever it was. Likewise, it could be finding emails to reply to. I'm gonna be a bit harsh. If these aren't goals you have set out yourself, then you're just procrastinating. Even though you feel really busy, you're just procrastinating. I haven't been all that harsh. I'm telling you the only reason you haven't attained success so far is procrastination. You've been procrastinating. There, that was kind of harsh. If you've been a perfectionist, if you've let paralysis set in, or if you've been finding other things to do, then you've been procrastinating. And the reason I know this is because I've done all of these things. I mean, and I still do them. Before doing this video, I was cleaning up stuff. I wanted to change my shirt, and so I ended up looking at my other shirts and trying to sort them out. It always happens. You really need to actively be fighting this. Now, the way to fight this is, is going back to Zig Ziglar. Anything worth doing is worth doing poorly. It means doing something poorly, but doing it. If it's preparing for freelance translation, and you know that your next step is to sign up for one of those websites, pros, Upwork, this, that, and the other, just sign up. Like right now, just go, sign up. You won't have everything ready because then it'll ask you for uh, past uh, examples or a portfolio or you'll need to take a test or this, that, and the other. That's fine, just take the first step now and then later take the next step, poorly, but do it. And then when you read your bio, be like, whoa, not, that's not all good, then you can change it and you'll want to change it right away. But you don't have to wait until you have the perfect bio to change something. You don't need to be better prepared. You don't need to read just another book or you know look at just another thing. You don't need to clean your room, definitely. You don't need to help your friend with other things or whatever. Just do something poorly. I think Stephen King wrote about this, that the key to writing is to write two bad pages per day. Because if you are trying to write the best page ever, you'll never get anything done. Your writer's block will hit in and you won't do it. And once you start doing things, by the way, then you'll feel the momentum, you'll feel progress. That'll really push you to keep going. Now, having said that, I should add at the very end, I know some of you will say, hey, well, I haven't been procrastinating. I haven't been 
putting things off, but you know, I'm super, super busy and I don't have time to do this. And that's true. Look, you know, a lot of people are very super, super busy. I, you know, I had a full-time job before I was doing this and I had to juggle a, a bunch of stuff as well. And you find yourself very tired from being super busy at your job. On the other hand, I'm guessing that all of you have been able to meet with friends every now and then for a drink or for a meal or you watch TV. You do have spots every now and then. I'm saying use those moments because they're, they're everywhere. Because the longer you procrastinate, the worse it gets and the harder it gets. So, you know, just do it right now. That's all I have to say. But before you turn off this video or get away from this page, please don't forget to click like and also click subscribe if you want more videos about freelance translation, freelancing in general. And I'll see you next time. Sabedum!